Let's do some calculations with the ideal gas law. I'm going to take a flask, one liter, at room temperature, put a mole of a metal in it. Then I'm going to evacuate the flask so there's no gas particles, and add in chlorine gas, Cl2 gas, until the pressure comes up to 48.6 atmospheres. Now, that 48.6 atmospheres refers to a specific number of particles of chlorine gas. I'm going to let the reaction occur. After the reaction occurs, the pressure of chlorine gas has gone down to 24.3 atmospheres. So some of the chlorine has been consumed. The question is, can we figure out what the metal is by knowing how much chlorine it consumes in this reaction? Well, we can look at the reaction. A metal reacting with chlorine forms some kind of metal chloride. And it's the ratio of the metal to the chlorine, this y to x ratio, that will allow us to predict what metal that is. So let's see if we can figure that out. We know A in this equation, the coefficient of the metal is 1. B is the number of moles of chlorine gas, which I can figure out, because I know the pressure went from 48.6 to 24.3. The pressure dropped by a factor of 2. That means half of the original chlorine molecules were used up in that chemical reaction. I can use the ideal gas law to figure out how many moles of chlorine that is. So it's 24.3 atmospheres of chlorine are used, half of the original, and they were at 25 degrees C and 1 liter. So let's figure out how many moles of chlorine gas that is. Here's the expression again. A is the number of moles of metal. I know that's 1. B, I'm going to solve for the moles of chlorine used using the ideal gas law. Solve for N. The number of moles is PV over RT. And I know the pressure, volume, and the temperature. So I know how many atmospheres of chlorine were consumed, the volume, and their temperature. That'll tell me how many moles of chlorine were used. I'll plug in those values, 24.3 atmospheres, a liter flask at 298K, and the gas constant solve. That gives me one atmosphere. So, excuse me, one mole. So one mole of chlorine is consumed. One mole of chlorine reacting with one mole of metal. Now we have to remember a mole of chlorine gas is two moles of chlorine atoms. So the actual relationship is C1, that is this coefficient is 1. I have one mole of metal with two moles of chlorine atoms. So Y is 1, X is 2. So the relationship is MCl2. What kind of metals give you that, that relationship MCl2? Well, it's all the metals in row 2 of the periodic table, like magnesium and calcium, for instance. So we can tell about which metal that's going to be, or predict which metal that is, based on how it reacts with chlorine. And the number of moles of chlorine it reacts with, we figure from the ideal gas law, how the pressure changed in a chemical reaction.